All right, so the U.S. Open, check. That leaves one more major, the Open Championship, that's coming up next month. We'll take a look, of course, at that, including the prep, the Scottish Open, and the next several weeks, heading up until the final major of the season, beginning tonight with the Travelers. And the Travelers Championship is actually going to be the final signature event of 2024. How, uh, how quickly time flies, Jared. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to how to move on, how to move past that U.S. Open. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've struggled to focus in on this week just because what we saw yesterday was just so awesome. That's just like, uh, you know, all the all the crappy finishes, all the crappy tournaments we go through all year. It's kind, of, it's like for that Sunday. Like, I, like I'll never forget a lot of those shots. I won't forget where I was watching, who I was watching with. It's like freaking awesome, awesome day of golf. It was it was great. Yeah, uh, especially and most importantly because you had. Uh, two top players going at it. You also had USA versus uh, England going at it. So, uh, or, or Britain going at it. Uh, Great Britain, Europe, I guess is probably the best way of saying it. And uh, bring all those Ryder Cup uh, ties into it. So, yeah, it was it was as good as I think we could have uh, uh, anticipated. And um, it was a crazy up and down Sunday. Uh, you kind of knew as soon as uh, Bryson started to... I mean, you knew he wasn't going to be as effective because it was impossible on that golf course to have back-to-back -back days like he had on Saturday. Right. And so you, but and then you saw it happening. The only question was Rory, and then as soon as Rory started to uh, make a run, then you were like, "All right, this is going to be interesting." Uh, but yeah, that was pretty uh, disappointing yeah. for the Rory McIlroy camp to go from. I mean, it was like he was constantly chasing. And then as soon as it, took, it was like, it's like it went so fast. Like he went from being up two to yeah. then all of a sudden just losing that lead so fast. And uh, everybody knows what happens after that. Yeah. Like for, for most of Sunday, I thought Bryson and Rory felt destined to win and you, you knew only one of them could win. And then they, you know, they Bryson tried to give it away first, right? Like he, he was, he was kind of the first one to slip up. And then, and like you said, Rory gets his two shot lead. Then it kind of all goes to hell on the final what four holes for him. So, in, insane. Bryson's bunker shot, insane. Um, I hope, like, I think, I think Rory is kind of the bigger story. But I hope, like, what Bryson has done doesn't get lost in all this because just the career he's he's thirty years old and the career he's had already is just insane. You think about like the changes he's made. He he's been like three different golfers in one career, right? He was like he was like the brainiac when he came in, nerd, and he became you know big. Big, brief, big, beefy Bryson. And now he's like, you know, something in between. So it's just been super interesting to kind of watch him evolve. I, I think what's going to happen is, is everybody, for the most part, look, you can only have one clip to represent uh, a win. And the clip is yeah. going to be the up and down. So, yes, sure. he will be remembered for that. But if people want to start breaking it down for a couple of minutes, then they're definitely going to. That's when they're going to bring up Rory and they're going to show his two short misses. And I mean, I don't know about you, but as soon as he missed the first one, I knew he was done. Uh, you just had to feel that way. It was like, no, that's that. He just left yeah. the door open, and I can't yeah. see DeChambeau not kicking it in after that. He also made an awesome up and down on 17, though, including like a four foot putt for par. He did. On 17. He did. So I was like, okay, he's kind of got it back together. Yeah, but then know. immediately it was, yeah. you know, it's. Yeah. The, yeah. the putt the putt on 18 was, was, was not an easy putt. <laughs> like for a three and a half footer, that thing moved a ton. You still got to make it, obviously. Yeah, but you got to make it. You want to win a major, yeah. you got to make that. But yeah. like that that miss was not as bad as, as the, the two and a half footer that was like that straight and he just yanked it. Yeah, and that just shows you, man, even the great players, uh, the problem is, is it's not that he hadn't won, because he had. It was about the major. Yeah. and I, Yeah. I can't wait to see how he bounces back from this. Like, I, I don't know. That's that's tough. Well, he's got a lot of explaining to do, too. We have to storm it off and not talking to anybody. So that's the first thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't play, especially Rory, I don't blame him. He's done so much for the tour and you know, with the media, like I don't blame him for not talking once after a loss like that. The Shambo, on the other hand, uh, this just shows you how just bad it is for the sport that you're only seeing the Shambo four times a year. That's it. 
You're seeing these guys yeah, four and, times a year. Yeah. Nobody's watching Live. Nobody cares yeah. about Live. Even if you win, nobody cares. So you get four times, and I, Ryder Cup. That's it. They're still allowed in the Ryder Cup, right? They. I thought the U.S. Oh, oh yeah, the U.S. did take Live guys. Cause yeah, because Brooks Brooks was in it. So, but, but Bryson will not. Bryson will not be at the Olympics. No, he won't. Representing the U.S. So. No. Um, that's that's another yeah, it, like, thing that just happened was yeah, yeah we all, we all know now the Olympic team and what they're gonna now the, right. the, the Americans have four why is that why do they get four and everybody else can only have a maximum of two yeah, I, I I was actually reading this um, a few days ago and I already forgot exactly how it works but you get you get up to four people if you have like four inside the top twenty in the OWGR. Oh, which okay. The US, which the U.S. does. So right. I think I think I don't know if like the I don't know if U.K. or whatever might end up getting. I don't, I don't know how. I don't know if there's other countries that are going to have four as well. But um, no, yeah, I there's, didn't notice there's that. a few. Nope. There's a few different, um, few different criteria for how they select those. Yeah, I th- I'm pretty sure they're the only ones who have four. Okay. So, uh, but that makes sense. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it, that's the thing I think that really I take out of it is that. Because just imagine if you're somebody that's just a novice fan and you're trying to learn the sport. And there's a lot of that happening all the time in every sport. You get that certain percentage. Maybe it's just 5 or 10%. And they don't really know what's going on. They're trying to find out and they want to know if this is something they want to get into. And then they go, oh, that's pretty awesome. Okay. And then all of a sudden they turn on golf the next week and they're like, where's that DeShambo guy? They turn on the next week. Where's that DeShambo guy? And it's like somebody has to explain to them what the hell's going on, and it's just not good. It just isn't. So, well, um, there was a there was an there was an agreement or something with the uh, Saudis and, and PIF or whatever. I, I don't follow it too closely, but it sounds like something's happening again. So maybe you know by this time next year, we'll be seeing Bryson <laughs> back back in most of these tournaments. All right. Well. Is is Br- is Bryson the second best player in the world? I mean, I don't know if I'm being like a prisoner of the moment. He just won a major, but I feel like. Yeah, what he's being done a prisoner at the moment. Yeah, what he's done in all three. Oh, all right, so who, who's, uh, who's oh, you the mean, second best you're just player? Talking about, are you talking about like this like year, right now, right? or are you talking well, about just, just overall? Right, right now, like right now, you have a golf tournament. Scheffler is most likely to win. Who would you put ahead of Bryson? He'd be. He'd I'd be probably two for me. put Scheffler. See, Scheffler's <laughs> the shambo because this is the hard part. Because, first of all, you, if you're saying, well, who who do you want at the Open Championship? And I haven't looked at DeChambeau's Open Championship resume. I don't know if he's good on links. I haven't looked at that yet. Um, yeah. But let's just say, let's just say he's average on on links. And I, I would say, well, yeah, look at how well he's playing on majors this year. He's he's. He, but if you're just saying it's a regular tournament next week and DeChambeau gets to play in it. The guy has not been consistent this year on the live tour, so how do I know? I mean, I don't know. He only plays well in majors, but he's only played in three PGA yeah. Tour events as well. I just don't know. It's a guess. I don't have to guess Shoffley because I know the guy is a machine in the top 10, top 15. DeChambeau hasn't been, you know, so I don't know. It's tough. It's a tough call. Yeah, I think, I think, but, yeah, I think that's what makes it tricky, the live aspect. I, I mean, I can't imagine Bryson is – trying as hard as he can on live when he's coming out here and finishing competing in all these majors and not competing on live. I got to imagine hundred percent, even if it's like, even if it's subconscious, like he's just not all there for live. But the, the point I wanted to make and why I, I would call him the second best player in the world right now is that again, the previous versions of Bryson would not have been good on this golf course. I, I said on last week's show, I didn't like Bryson on this golf course. I didn't think it was a good fit for him. He struggled in the past in, in the short game on this, you know, the tight lies, all that type of stuff. He's, figured that out he's he's just you know taking his game to another level and it's just super impressive to see what he's done he still has the power he's accurate off the tee now he's added the short game to the mix he's always been a really good putter the iron the iron play i think at times still comes and goes it was awesome for most of this tournament but i mean he's he's just he, he's better now than he was when he won at winged foot i think all right well well i would agree with that but let's also take a look at it this way though if Rory doesn't choke, he doesn't yeah. win. So, mm-hmm. and then what are we saying? Are you saying, oh, DeChambeau's the best man. He was second, second, and sixth. No, we're not saying I'm that. Like, we're saying, well, he has a I'd one. Say, yeah, I'd probably say Rory's two and Bryson's three. Yeah, that probably, Rory yeah. One. But even then, we're talking about Bryson going 
second or what sixth oh absolutely he deserves to be in the top five conversation of the lock for sure lock because who else you putting in there you're putting shoffle and then who you putting morikawa in there in the top five ludwig ludwig's probably my top five over morikawa yeah they're i mean they're 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 both there i think those are probably the next guys you're, you're talking about right yeah, I don't really think there's anybody else right. in the discussion, really, now. Yeah, so if you're saying, so if you're saying like, Scheffler, Xander, Rory, uh, Bryson, top four, and then Ludwig, Kyle, probably, the next two. And again, we're talking about now, but it's, it's, if we're, if, let's just say if we're trying to figure out, um, like, let's just say uh, we're starting the season again, Um mm-hmm. A lot's going to depend also, at the end of this season, what happens to Victor Hovland's game. Yeah. Because he still has time to do what he did last year, which is get hot at the end and look like he's awesome and like the best player in the world. So, uh, but as of today, uh, with your question in hand, uh, no, no doubt DeChambeau is now uh, one of those, uh, uh, not only top five, but you could probably even put him in the top three or four for sure. Um, because yeah, I can't put McElroy ahead of him after what happened. Uh, and that, that's just, uh, it's tough. And now, mm-hmm. um, you know, I wonder, I, you know what, I, I think this will, I just get the feeling this is going to, this is going to be, uh, uh, cause we know Rory, I haven't checked the, 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 uh, course, uh, the open championship course and, and, and how mm-hmm. Rory might compare to other open championship courses where Rory is of course very good at. Um, but I would, I don't know. I probably... You know what? I, I I might bet more on Rory. I I think this will be good for him in a way. I I don't think he's gonna put him, his head in a hole and he's a Patrick Cantley type, uh, or even Shoffley before he won, where we were, where we don't trust him and they don't win. I just mm-hmm. I, I think he's too good, and I just think that maybe this because realistically, and I know he's been in a lot of these situations for uh, many years before. He's of course he's won thirteen years ago his last major, but. This is, I think, the closest, really. He hasn't been in this spot like where he yeah. completely choked in the last couple of holes. We have never seen that from him. I don't think ever. I don't think I've ever seen him choke like this before in a major. So I think that'll be good for him. Next time, yeah, he, worry, especially man. if he's in this, again, he's got a two-stroke lead in the Open Championship next month. Yeah. I think that'll be good for him, and he'll be able to close it. 